Hi, this is Ahana Kumar and you're watching me on Cine Speaks. Congratulations for yours truly. Thank you. Please explain your character. My character's name is Lali Kumar and she is the sister of Meethi Kumar who is the main lead who is Soni Razdan. And uh, um, the, sh the film is about uh, a woman looking for love and it speaks about loneliness. It speaks about the struggle of being alone. Uh, you know, you could be in the most crowded place and you can still feel lonely. And uh, I think that's what the film speaks about, about finding true love. And it's about exchange of like letters between two people. And uh, you know, that she she's hoping and praying and I think longing for this love that she, uh, you know, uh, has imagined in her life and Lali is her sister who is a complete contrast of hers and she brings a lot of like excitement and like noise in her life and that's my character and uh, you know she speaks what she feels like she's very bindar she's very like so that's my that's my character and uh, she wants her sister to come and stay with her but her sister refuses so you know so it's a very sweet relationship between the two they come and she spends time with her and she just doesn't want her sister to be alone. So I think that's most siblings. Your reaction when uh, script was proposed to you? Sorry? Your reaction when script was proposed to you? Well, I took like just 10 minutes to say yes because I read the script. When I read the script, then I was just like, yeah, I'll do it. Because I think the script was really nice. And uh, it was, uh, it was, you know, it was a very sweet script and I hadn't read something like this in a while. And then, you know, then they told me it's going to be shot in Kolkata, so I was like, that's it. Khana acha milega. <laughs> the story is very different. It is so unusual. Like this used to happen in old days, and we cannot, we don't see like exchanging letters and connecting to people through a vo through voice. So how do you feel? Like what is your take? You know, Kolkata actually has a lot of women who are living alone in the longing for like finding true love and that I found out much later when we went to Korea with the film we went to Busan for the film festival and the director told us this uh, while a Q&A was happening and I was like what really he was like yeah and it's so much like a nation society like in a nation society there are lots of women who are alone because they just don't think this is the right person for me and in this whole thing of longing for love and longing for the right person they just don't get married for years and I, I didn't even know that this was really the case. So this film has actually made me think about that there are, there's a certain section of our society that's not getting married or is not marrying or is not choosing to marry because, you know, they think they haven't found the right person. Look at like, did you even know of these kind of people? Did you know of these women? You know, so this is telling a story about a completely different person that you don't know around you because your society has not allowed you to think that, you know, it's okay to be alone. <laughs> Your experience working with Sony, Razdan and Mahesh Bhatt? Um, I don't have any scenes with Mahesh sir, but I do have a scene, I have lots of scenes with Sony and uh, it was really fantastic working with her. She's such a lovely, loving, uh, caring and nurturing person and she's so receptive to ideas and she's so, uh, you know, she just immediately jumps to a yes, you know, and she's such a yes person, you know, like when you when I told her like let's try this, she was like yeah, yeah let's try it, you know, and I was just like it was just like working as though I'm working with somebody you know who's like literally like my age group you know because it was like I was giving her an idea and she was like yeah let's try it and I was like wonderful and that's usually how we work in theatre you know we try something it may or may not work but at least you try it you know so I think that was really fantastic working with her. Any fun moment you would like to share from the sets? <laughs> yeah we ate a lot of food. <laughs> we were shooting in a house which is like a 350 year old dilapidated sort of a house and uske bagal mein there was another house which was another like 375 year old house pata nahi kya sare ghar pata nahi itne like purane ghar the wahan par and uh, those houses are so fantastic and the people who were staying around us are so lovely they were like aap set ka khana mat khaiye hum log khana bana kar la rahe so they would bring food for us and soni and i would look forward to lunch and we'd have so many types of fish and katla and rohu and this and that and you know and then uske baad then we'd have poshto and then we'd just feel sleepy after that so both of us are like chai 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 you know so lots of chai happened on that set lots of jalmuri happened on that set lots of poshto happened on that set there was a lot of food on that set uh, many times a, char a character, a, like a particular character makes its marks, has its footprints like you had from uh, Rangbaz. So how do you feel? 
it feels when great. your character yes. makes a footprint it like. feels great i'd never done a character and i was always i think it was all, i always had this romantic inkling in my mind ki i'll play one character in my life that's only going to be on the telephone and i think like god hold me my prayers and <laughs> you know mai kuch bolti hu to shayad wo ho bhi jata hai kabhi kabhi so i you know i had just imagined once and i'll do a character which will entirely be on the phone and bam i got rang baz and i was like you know you then you, then you realize you don't really need you know sometimes like you see the kind of stuff that's happening around you like people need to be like you know literally into each other's mouths and you know like it's so much of like explicit things happening around you and then you realize ki yaar love stories can be told in the most amazing way in the in the in the in the nicest manner without you know having to have two characters even meet and i really i think that i find that very romantic i find that very old school and that's what i loved about your story also that these characters just necessarily meet or don't meet you know but there is a romance there you have done a lot of work like you have done uh, ads web shows movies so what do you prefer most yeah uh, that would be wrong for me to like make a choice every <laughs> medium has its own pros and cons and uh, you know i love the stage because that's where i have begun my career and begun my life literally you know as an actor uh, so i will always love the stage and i love performing at prithvi it's really one of my favorite plays i've literally lived my childhood there and uh, but films has its own charm web has its own reach um theater has its own gratification and ads well <laughs> ads has its own money so <laughs> so you know everything has its own uh, pros and i think i love each and every medium okay uh, do you think like these days digital media like is in hype so do you think digital media has taken cra- like took over the craze of uh, films no you can't take away the craze of films like films are just cinema is supposed to be watched on the big screen in that dark room that transports you into a different world no experience can come close to that nothing so i don't think anything can touch films but yes having said that content has become king and if in cinema they are not going to move forward in content then they will not be able to move forward with those films will not make money so that rest assured has been proved lastly your message to audience please watch yours truly it's premiering on 3rd may on z5 on z premium and uh, it's a great platform it is curating some of the best content it's got some amazing films it's got some great shows and yours truly is a very very sweet film and it it takes you back it transports you into a world that you know that you probably had forgotten about so to really remind you of those those beautiful moments in your life that you probably had with your pen friend or somebody that you ever imagined you were in love with so yeah it's lovely please watch it thank you so much and all the best thank you